Hello, what's up? Ali here, bringing you some updates on the latest PS4 jailbreak, PPPWN. And we actually have a good numbers of update here, but the highlight of this video is the support of this latest jailbreak to a firmware as low as 7.0. And later on this video, we will discuss the relevance of this update and why it is important. And we will also answer some of the frequently asked questions. Now let us discuss the new stability update. Well, almost every day, they find some methods uh, to improve uh, the uh, overall stability of this jailbreak. So if you are still having some issues, uh, it is highly recommended to check uh, the tools for some new updates. And most of the time, these developers also update their tools uh, to implement these new updates that we have on this new jailbreak. Though with all of my tests, I'm still having the best success rate on uh, PPPWN Lite 3.1. I rarely had to restart my PS4 just to activate my jailbreak and most of the time I can activate my jailbreak on the single or on the first try. But uh, like we have mentioned, since there are still some uh, unknown issues that affect the jailbreak, it is highly advisable to check other methods or applications which one works better for your PS4. And don't rely on the results of others because sometimes or most of the time it is still a case-to-case -case basis. Especially right now, there has been some discoveries that there are some specific PS4 model with a specific board that are having zero chance of activating the jailbreak. Right now, they are thinking that maybe this specific board don't have uh, some of the requirements for this exploit to work. But for every solid development, uh, we will always uh, provide the updates so that we can uh, inform our community. And now aside from that, the exploit itself can now be activated using some device like some specific routers. Though there are only a numbers of routers supported, personally, I would still recommend using an Orange Pi if you don't have a PC or a laptop to activate your jailbreak. But in general, I would still recommend to wait for further developments. I'm sure we can get more tasty updates in the next few days or maybe weeks. But for now, for the best experience, what I can suggest is using an Orange Pi because it doesn't cost as much as the Raspberry Pi. And I would like to uh, specifically answer this question. Is 11.0 better than 9.0? We always answer these questions on most of our videos, but we always get these questions. So there is nothing 11.0 that 9.0 cannot do. All of the things that you can do in 11.0 using PPPWN exploit, you can also do them on 9.0 because it still uses the same exploit chain. Now, since we have uh, these uh, new updates that uh, it also supports uh, up to 7.0, the relevant of this update is uh, with 7.0, you can also use the PPPWN if you're having some troubles activating the exploit using the WebKit. So meaning if you want to take advantage of using Raspberry Pi or Orange Pi to have an automatic jailbreak every time you boot up your PS4, you can also do that on the lower firmware as low as 7.0. This is also the reason why there is no reason to update to 11.0 because uh, everything that you can do on 11.0 within the exploit of a PPPWN can be done on any firmware that is supported by the PPPWN. But if you're on a lower firmware, you can always uh, use your previous jailbreak available on your current version. And personally, uh, with all of the current method that 11.0 has, uh, it still has no better method with regards to stability and speed compared to using ESPS 232 if you're on 9.0. And the king of all exploit is still hands down 5.05. So I'm pointing this out for those who are asking, since 11.0 is the latest jailbreak, is it the best jailbreak? Well, it is far from the best jailbreak. Even comparing to 9.0, it is still far inferior. But you can actually expect this because 11.0 has, hasn't been there for more than a month. And the developments are actually pretty crazy. Now, going back to Wololo, you can find the link on our description. And again, if you want general updates for the latest PS4 jailbreak, you can always trust Wololo for that. Here you can find more information regarding the updates and the support for the firmware 7.0. Also, you can find more information if you have uh, more questions regarding the latest exploit. And also one of the relevance or the importance of this update is because there are some PS4 that are stuck on a specific firmware. Because uh, if you have some issues with your Blu-ray drive, when you update, you will get an error or a specific error code and that will prevent you from updating. You will be able to jailbreak your PS4 and load Gold Hen. 
you can also find more information regarding gold hen if you have more questions about it but basically gold hen is our key to jailbreak the ps4 you can also find links on this page regarding some applications but personally i would recommend using the pppwn Lite. but then again if you are having some issues with a specific model or with a specific application you can always go ahead and try different applications which one will work best for your ps4 and if you keep on having some issues once you get to the grooming part all you have to do is simply try and try again you may get it on the first fourth fifth tenth or even 20th try but all you can do is just try again but if you can't get to the ip address part all you have to do is check your current connection and also you may need to bridge your wi-fi and LAN connection and always check for the latest application so uh, this will be it for now if you have any questions suggestions or concerns you may go ahead and share them on our comment section and i will definitely address them and again my name is ali if you find this video helpful please go ahead and like and subscribe and i will definitely see you on our next video Bye bye